Hi everyone, this is Carrie from DoubleClick. Thanks for stopping by today. Today I want to share a very quick video tutorial for you on how to get rid of uh, comments, either anonymous ones or duplicate ones. I am by no means a blogger expert. This is just something that is very annoying to me and I figured out a way to get rid of it. Uh, also on my blog, www.doubleclickconnections.blogspot.com will be step-by-step -step instructions on how to do this. Now, um, when you're blogging, either you've seen this or you've had it on your blog, you will come across this anonymous comment. Usually it is something very bizarre and it contains a bad link. Let me first off uh, start by saying never ever click on this link. It will always lead you to a bad site. You should always go with the pretty much if you don't know who it is, don't click on it. What you want to do is you want to get rid of it. And I'm going to take you through a couple of quick ways that you can do that. The first way that you want, you can do it is log into your blogger account and find the blog if you have more than one that it's on. I've already gone in, left myself some test comments so I can show you how to do it. What you want to do is drop down this arrow and you'll find the comments. You want to click on that. And this um, posts in order of how your comments were left. So what you want to do is you want to find this anonymous comment. Uh, right now we'll use my test one as an example. You want to click on that and you want to hit the delete button. You don't want to hit remove content because that is still going to leave anonymous information on your blog, which you don't want. You want to actually delete it. And what that's going to do is it's going to remove this from your published comments area. And it's also going to remove it from your actual blog posting. Now, while we're in this comments area, I want you to take a quick look on the left. You'll see comments that have been published and comments that is considered spam. Blogger does do a really good job about sorting out what it thinks is good comments and what it thinks is bad comments. Usually if there's bad words or completed, uh, completely repeated comments, it's going to push it in your spam folder. But also, if you have a blogger friend that uses an iPad, a lot of times those comments are going to end up in your spam folder as well. And it's your responsibility to clean this folder out. It does not get cleaned out by itself. I know people that have thousands of spam links in theirs. So what you want to do is regularly click on it and see what's in there. Now, if you can look, one of my posts, one of my comments is in spam, probably because I kept going test, test, test. So what you want to do is you want to click on it and you want to hit delete. And that's going to delete it out of your spam. Now, these comments in your spam are not on your blog posts, but you definitely don't want them sitting clogging up your blogger, so get rid of them. Now, this one is from a local friend, so this is not spam, but maybe this comment was left when she used her iPad. So what you want to do on a comment like this is click it and hit not spam. And what that's going to do, that's going to tell blogger, go ahead and publish that comment on my blog. I'm telling you it's not spam and it will end up on your blog. It's a good idea to keep these uh, up to date and current and make sure that you're not clicking on any of these links that are attached to these bad comments. Now, it may not only be anonymous comments that you want to get rid of. Say you're doing a giveaway and it says one entry per person, but the person leaves a comment and then comes back and says, oh, sorry, I forgot to leave my email address and now they've left two. A quick way to do that is just go to your blog page and go to the comments on the posting and click on it and there you'll see say this is my duplicated comment or this can even be the anonymous comment you will see a little trash can what you want to do is click on it and it will say delete this comment you want to first click remove forever because that will remove all of the content of the, the comment and then you want to hit delete and that is going to remove it from your blog post completely. You can close this out and when you go back to your comments, if you notice, they are all gone. Now, let me quickly show you a way to avoid this all together. Go back to your dashboard and on the left you will see a, a, an icon that says settings. If you click on that settings and scroll down a bit, you will see posts and comments. Click on it, and right here it says who can comment. Click registered users, and then no one anonymous can post on your blog. 
Now, if you have friends or family that don't actually have blogger accounts and you say, well, they post on there, well then turn on your comment moderation, put always. And what that will do, it will email you the comments and you can decide what gets published and what doesn't get published. So I hope this will help some people figure out how to get rid of these really uh, gross emails and bad linked with bad links in them. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave one on my YouTube channel or my blogger, and I'll try to answer them as best I can. Thanks for stopping by, and have a great day.